Hi there, I'm Scott Hartzman. I'm the senior producer of EverQuest 2. We're here to celebrate EQ2's third birthday and the auspicious occasion of the launch of our fourth expansion, Rise of Kunark. And we're going to take you on a little journey over some stuff that's gone on here over the last three years. I've been on the EQ2 team since uh, 2001 and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. I was a huge EQ player and that's actually what got me into the game industry. It was really great to actually be a part of the sequel to the series. The approach we took there was, oh my god, we've got to get this thing done. Very relieved. It launched really well, I thought. I thought the launch went very well. Um, I was one of the devs who got to go to our launch party up in San Francisco, so that was kind of nice. It was very interesting. Club singing was so cool. The first time I saw parts of the city, I was just blown away. The art is so fantastic and the colors are so vibrant. They're exactly what I would think of when I imagine working on a fantastic desert-based city. Um, I spent a lot of time reading old myths and uh, a lot of Persian lore to try and get a sense of how do they perceive the world around them because I think world myths really tell a lot about people and we can translate that into the game world pretty easily because the world's our oyster. So I took a lot of those types of elements and used that in coming up with stories. If I was given a chance I would still be concepting Desert of Flames. Kingdom of Sky was difficult just because there were so many dragons that we had to make original sounds for. That was pretty, pretty hard. We had like these six or seven unique looking dragons, how do you make them all sound different? And with Kingdom of Skies, we just let loose. There was no line. We just went as crazy and as creative as we could get. Favorite part of Kingdom of Sky, of Sky and I hate to repeat myself, is that it's done. When I saw the first sketches that, that they had made of the various wings, that was it. I, I was in love and I had like weeks of plotting out family trees and figuring out how long these people were going to live and you know who was queen here and how this history related to the rest of the history in the world. Um, it was awesome. It was really awesome. The first time hearing the music while walking out to um, Kelethan, um, actually being in the zone, it was uh, really hard for me not to get emotional over it and get really attached to it. It was a very, um, it was a very proud time for me. I love the fanfares. That's, as soon as I hear they're happening, I'm there. I'm figuring out how I can get there. No, I love fanfare, fanfares. They're really great. Um, not too many people want to talk to me since I'm audio, so I get to actually get there, go back and relax and have fun and talk with people. Um, it's, it's really neat to meet the fans. Um, we, we do this for the fans. But I really enjoy them, and I get a good time like meeting the people and interacting with our players, and also meeting people from like the guilds I've been in and stuff. It's, it's really cool. I, I love those. And then I get suckered into dressing up occasionally. Uh, Rise of Kunark, we did uh, way too much. Uh, it was a really fun challenge and it was really fun to push ourselves without killing ourselves. Um, we've done the most we've ever done on the character team. I'm very proud of that um, and I hope it shows. you got to play Rise of Kunark because it's really going to be a lot of fun. I think you're going to like the changes all across the board through the entire game. Great concepts and this is not kidding, we're done by Patrick Ho. So we put in the time that's necessary to make sure that when they're playing, it's as good as it can possibly be. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the zones from a player's perspective, to tell you the truth. What I like most? Seeing the world come together, seeing people run around it, uh, watching people as they approach a, a new area and see what they do. <laughs> I'm tearing up now just thinking about it because I loved working on this game and it, you know, it's got a wonderful community, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous product and um, i am just been really happy, really proud to have a little bit of the history. This team, this community, this time has been pretty much the pinnacle of my experiences here on EQ2. And I've got to say that just as, as a guy who's lucky enough to have the job that I do have, uh, there has never been a time that I've enjoyed it more. And it's thanks to both the people who make this game and the people who play it. So thank you all very much.